Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trail Makers, and today we are going back into the workshop to look at some more amazing, ridiculous, or crazy builds that I happened to find this week, and we're starting off with this paradise scene right here that is making some very, very strange noises. I think this thing is an amazing example of how all of the different texture blocks can be used. I think, like, pretty much every single type of texture is used here. We clearly have the wood. Oh, look at the snake! That's awesome! I didn't even- I, I don't think I have that part. So we got the wood texture for the trees, obviously. We got the camo texture for the leaves on the trees and the ground. We got the uh, the glowing texture for the flowers, which is a really, really nice effect. We got the clear texture for the water. We got some fish underneath there as well. And are th the fish, I think, are the chrome texture, the shiny texture. But it's harder to tell since they're under the under the water there. And I am also trapped underneath the water. I, I, I can't actually get out of this creation. As far as static creations goes, this is this is a beautiful creation. What do you guys think? So that creation was called Rio and La Selva by Rogue. And apparently this was made for a, a weekly challenge about my happy place. So really, really well done on that. All right, up next, we're gonna be looking at this thing, which looks like a boxer called Iron Bison. I don't know if this is from like a game reference that I'm not familiar with, but it says there's only three buttons. Just don't hit yourself in the face, which is what I fully plan on trying to do with this. This is made by Kremis. All right, here we go. We got a couple buttons here. I'm gonna go, well, that, that did not, why is he punching down? You're not supposed to hit below the waist. What are you fighting little kids or something? Uh, oh, 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 there's a stance button. I see. Okay. That's pretty cool. Look at the stance. That's awesome. Okay, so now I'm assuming punching. Oh, yeah. There. Oh, oh, I am kind of hitting myself in the face. <laughs> this thing is actually like really awesome. I love them. Look at the muscles. The muscles look so good on this. Even like the leg muscles look awesome. All right, so you know what we have to do here? We have to place them right in front of each other and we're gonna have them fight to absolute destruction. And by have them fight, I mean, I'm just gonna be controlling the one and the other one is just gonna be sitting there and taking it. All right, here we go. I seem to have done more damage to myself than to my opponent. <laughs> but I'm trying here. Oh man, that looks like a good hit. I'm just hurting my hand. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, um, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm switching teams here. I think this guy's more likely to win the fight here. So why don't we go ahead? Oh, there we go. I mean, they do seem pretty evenly matched to be honest. <laughs> it's almost like they're the same creation, but no, this guy, this guy over here on the right now, uh, He's doing considerably more damage. Oh, and now his hands are gone. I think I think we'll call us one a draw. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and call this a draw. Will you let me out of you? Let me out. All right, I'm just gonna leave them there awkwardly staring each other down like they're about to fight, but they're not going to. And then maybe a creation that I spawn in later will be able to, to destroy them. Like this guy, the Buster Buster. So this I thought was an amazing idea. For those of you who watch my Trailmakers content regularly, you know who Buster is. He is the robot I've built to test out all of my wacky ideas and inevitably get destroyed by all of my wacky ideas, whether he wants to or not. So this is kind of like a mech suit for him, which I thought it would be an awesome idea. Why don't we take Buster and and this mech suit and put them into the transformation mode so I can actually transform into the Hulk version of Buster. This is made by Matthew Marchluski. All right, so we're gonna set the Buster Buster as transformation number two, and I'm gonna go ahead and find normal Buster, and we're setting him to transformation number one. All right, so we're in normal Buster here, and he doesn't really have that many great controls because he's just designed to stand there and take whatever is coming to him. But let's say he got fed up with being the victim of all of my experiments and he wants to fight back. That is when we transform into Oh boy, Buster Buster, uh, something, something tells me the transformation didn't go quite the way it was planned, judging by all the floaty things around him. So I'm gonna hit the repair button. There we go, this looks a little bit better. Okay, let's push buttons and see what happens. I'm gonna go with uh, WASD first. Oh, no way, he walks. It's legit, he can turn to, look at this. This is such good walking. Uh oh, oh, uh, wait, wait, oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, okay. No, we're good. We're good. We're fine. We're just losing our balance. All right, get your balance. Get your balance. Okay, let's press some more buttons. We get Q. No way. We can just shoot. Oh, that's so great. It automatically aims and shoots them for you. That's awesome. All right, and then space. Wait, what? I don't know what space is. Okay, space seems to activate my helmet uh, gimbal, which makes me a little bit lighter. I don't know if that's like a recover. Maybe if I fall over, that's like a recovery option or something. So let's try control. Left control isn't doing anything. How do I use the cannon arm? I want to use the cannon arm. Hold on a second here. Is this not E? Wait, what? E? I've suddenly got more controls. These controls were not showing up a second ago. All right, well, we're going to do E then. Yes. Oh, that is great. Wait, there's no control key anymore. Why was that showing up before? We somehow glitched out the controls. Are these the right controls or not? T doesn't do anything, but we can do this. So this is kind of cool. All right, let's go ahead and walk over to these boxers. And I think each of my arms should be able to uh, get one of them. So I'm going to go with the crate first, my left hand. <laughs> that was a perfect headshot. That's kind of crazy that it was that accurate of a headshot. Like, nothing got damaged, but the head got completely taken off. All right, uh... Yeah, look at that. It's just perfect at the head. Okay, there we go. Oh, yes! I can actually, by how long I press the button, I can choose where I hit it. Oh, that is amazing. Okay, is my other arm aimed perfectly at this guy? Oh, not quite. It wants to go just over the head. You know what? I'm just going to move closer. That's the solution. We just got to move closer. Just a little bit and go. Yep. This is an awesome creation. I still kind of want to destroy the rest of this uh, it, this torso just laying on the ground here. So here, let's go ahead and aim. Uh, uh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, this is not going to destroy it completely, I don't think. But I don't think I can actually aim my cannons down. I have to lift my arm all the way up for it to fire. Whereas this, I can let go early and it still fires. All right, so that was awesome. This is what happens when you make Buster angry. And then when Buster goes ahead and calms down, he can go ahead and transform back into his skinny little gymnast body. Because I don't know if you remember, but Buster was originally created as a gymnast doing the, the swinging bar stuff. Go check out that video if you haven't seen it. Type in like Scrapman Robo Gymnast or something. I don't know. You'll find it. All right, after this, we're going to be taking a look at another Beyblade. We did Beyblades once a long time ago, and now we got a new one here. So this is called the Happy Happy Hitter Beyblade. Credits to Marty Sama. Well, this is made by Galning27. It might be based off of a Beyblade design that Marty Sama made. I, I think Marty Sama might have been the one that made the Beyblades that I showed last time. But this one has some cannons on it, which I'm curious how that's going to work. So let's spawn in two of these and put them next to each other and see what happens. All right, here we go. I don't know if they're going to go. Oh, they are going automatically, actually. Look at that. All right, let's go ahead and hop in and push buttons and see what happens. Space. Yeah, yeah, this is very similar to the other Beyblades. Okay, Q. Uh, I don't know what Q's doing. E. Oh, okay, we win. We Yeah, we definitely won that. What does shift do? I don't know what shift Q or Q does. Oh, oh, okay, I see now. We have, uh, we have a rainbow maker. Look at that. That is awesome right there. All right, so E is... Oh, and we blow ourselves up. Yep, that's how, that's how it goes. So what happens if I jump and shoot? Ready? Jump, shoot. Oh, I want to hit the, the, the torso on the ground over there. Oh, so, yeah, there we go. Oh, look at the seat. The seat went flying. All right, and can we blow ourselves up again? How did I blow myself up that last time? None of this is working. I don't understand how I actually blew myself up. I still don't understand, but I have succeeded, so I'll take it. All right, up next, this is a really interesting idea, and I have no idea how it's going to turn out. This is a first-person shooter. Oh, we can swap weapons? That's cool. So this is made by 8-Ball Scratch. All right, so I'm guessing I got to go into first-person for this. So let's go ahead and find our first-person camera. Top of C. For, oh, there we Oh, that looks great. Oh, boy, it's a little bit shaky. Oh, no way. It has a running animation. This is amazing. Holy cow, this is awesome. Okay, uh, let's press some more buttons. Left shift. Oh, is that like a... Wait, what? Left shift is sprint. 
but it allowed me to aim my gun up. So that's a little bit interesting. Okay, these all seem pretty straightforward. So let's get back into it and try it again. All right, so here we are running and I press left shift to sprint. Oh, oh, okay, that makes sense. That's why I was aiming up because you're actually sprinting and you're, you put this gun up more because it's more intense of a running thing. All right, we can apparently lean. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. So there's lean. Oh, uh, is there's T to switch weapons? And then X, I think, shoots the weapon. This is amazing. I wish I could aim a little bit farther, though. So now I can lean with this as well. This is so cool. All right, T to switch weapons again. This is amazing. All right, uh, let's go and blow up an explosive barrel. I wonder if it only takes one shot with the small weapon here. Yep. Oh! I think we're dead. All right, I want to go into third person here because I want to see how this thing works. I want to see how switching weapons works. Oh, okay. Oh, that makes perfect sense. Yep, yeah, that's that's super simple. Very simple. Very, very effective. All right, let's see the running animation. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there's even more to it. From a third person perspective, you can see the arms and stuff going back and forth. Oh, and then when you stop, it actually turns the wheels in so you don't keep rolling. Oh, wait a minute. There is an aim up and down only on the second gun, though. So let me go back into first person here. All right, so if I press T to switch, now I got this. And look at, oh, I can't aim it up and down. Oops, wrong, wrong, wrong weapon. There we go, look at that. I wanna hit that barrel. Come on. There we go. All right, so if you ever wanted to have a first person shooter in Trail Makers, now you have it. All right, up next, we get another hyper car. It's been a while since I've looked at a hyper car, actually. 500 kilometers an hour, 30 cores, yeah. B bold chrome hypercar. Oh, chrome bullet in Welsh. Okay, that, that question's answered. So this is by Mimetic Soup. Okay, look at this thing. The chrome is awesome. The chrome and the glowing. Oh boy. Oh, oh, it does not like dirt. Okay, yeah, it, it, it really does not. It does not like dirt at all. Oh, wow. Look at the steering. No, we're gonna go over the loop while we're here. Oh. This thing have a mind of its own? That was the worst failure of the loop I could have imagined. All right, try this thing again. And... Oh my good, wait, what? I didn't hit the turn button, I promise. All right, you know, let's just get onto some actual road here and actually try to drive this thing for real. We don't need to do a loop with this. All right, here we go. Here we go, this is more like it, oh no. The roads here are terrible for this. All right, all right, this is more like it. All right, here we go. Whoa, whoa. Okay, stay calm, stay calm, stay calm. You can do, no, no. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, I'm just gonna spawn over here instead of trying to drive over there because I'm not having much luck with this driving. All right, here we go. Oh no, stay straight. Why are you turning left? Oh, yeah, we definitely need some more room for this thing. Whoa. Oh no, I'm spinning out. Oh man, this thing is not happy with any bumps or uneven terrain. Okay, fine, just to give it justice, I'm gonna take it into the test map and we can really see how fast this thing's gonna go. How come every single time I try to use it, it, it lists to the left? I don't know why that is. Am I using it wrong? I'm just pressing W. That's all I'm doing is pressing W. 495, six, Seven, eight, nine. There we go. I think it's gonna break 500. Yep, 501. Yep, so it looks like 502 is the max. So I'm just gonna turn as sharp as I can. Oh no, 503. We hit 503. So I'm just gonna turn as sharp as I can now just to see what happens. And go. Well, that was a very, very, very quick deceleration. That would have probably hurt a lot if you were actually in the car when that happened. This thing actually kind of drifts nice. Look at this. This is nice. Oh, and we spun out. Okay, up next, I don't know. I don't know what, this, what to expect with this thing. It is called the most illegal sled in existence. And apparently it is a sled powered entirely by skis and no thrust, zero cores, and it can somehow reach almost a hundred kilometers an hour. So I had to see what this thing's all about. This is by Flash Blurb. Okay, S and W, that's it. There's not even any steering in this. What? 
What? How does this work? This is illegal. This is very illegal. <laughs> and, it, and it's like random too. What is, what is going on? How does this, like when, when the skis go back, oh my goodness. So much for 100, we just went to like 170, 180. This doesn't make any sense. Well, apparently skis work in mysterious ways in this game that I didn't know about. This is amazing. All right, someone's gonna have to call the police on this one. That's just straight up illegal. All right, and up next we have explosive Technicolor dominoes. And uh, apparently we have to spawn in a flat location. So I think this is the perfect map for that. He says 60% of the time it works 100% of the time. So let's see if we can get this thing to work. This is by that Dom guy. All right, I'm just gonna hop in this seat. Where does this start? Oh, it must start over here. All right, I'm gonna press space and see what happens. Wait, what, hold, no, oh, I did, oh, no, no, no. Okay, I did it wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, I gotta try this again. I think I was, I thought that this was the starting point over here because of this like arm thing, but I think it actually starts in front of my seat. So I totally missed it. Base. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Uh, let's go into free cam here. Oh, this is awesome. Wait, what is this? It looks like this did not work. We try again then. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, and third time's a charm. There we go. This is crazy. How many detachable blocks were on this thing? One of the glitziest blocks in the game. Oh, look at that. Oh, whoa! That was not how I expected that to work. It did a legit flip and landed upright. It's the only domino that's like upright right now. That's That doesn't make any sense at all. This is awesome. Okay, it just blows everything up. <laughs> Whoa, okay, okay, there's more that I didn't, I was not expecting that. There was more to it. <laughs> okay, so by the looks of it, like it's going right now. I'm just gonna let that run, but there's cannons that shoot at the seat. This cannon shoots at like, I guess it just blows everything up. These cannons shoot up. Those cannons shoot over. Why are there so many different cannons shooting at so many? I guess he's trying to blow up every part of it. I want to watch it from a distance now. It looks like it's being successful. And... Okay, yeah, so it does shoot straight up so that it would it would just kind of troll me a couple seconds later with that unexpected <laughs> other explosion. Well, I think that's a fantastic way to end off the video. What was your favorite creation out of all the ones that you've seen in this video? And if you want to see more amazing workshop creations, you're going to want to check out this playlist right here. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.